Hey folks, how y'all doing today? Uh, I'm in the middle of doing my drag racing videos and everything, and that's going to take probably pretty much the good part of a week to do all that. But I'm, I'm going to um, cook a good dinner tonight. You know, my friend Dave is in town from Arkansas, and uh, he's getting some good rest right now because he's really sleepy. And uh, I'm getting dinner ready, and I just wanted to show you what was on the menu for this evening. All right. Now, what I've got here is I've got this bag. This is a, like a Ziploc bag. Okay, and I've taken stir fry, frozen stir fry with broccoli, peas, beans, carrots, little tiny pieces of corn. And all kind of other little things. There's some water chestnuts in there. And uh, I put that in the bag. And I've chopped up some very, very thick bacon. And put some thick bacon in there. With it. And uh, also, what I've got in there is a chopped up onion. I've taken a, a nice yellow onion. And I've chopped it up into about diced sized pieces. And I put that in there with it and there is a London broil in here with it okay this has been sitting in my refrigerator all night hell yeah it has all night there's a London broil amongst all of this stuff all these vegetables and stuff in here with, with the bacon to add a little extra flavor now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna scan over here and I'm gonna show you the spices that I use all right well let me let's just let me hang on yeah you look at this for a minute while i put these in the right order first thing i use was italian dressing all right put everything in your bag and go on ahead and dump you some italian dressing in there all right then the next thing i used was some of this guy this little old cartoon character fella with the creole seasoning put him in there mr tony all right after that after those two things this is what i've got oak grove smokehouse creole seasoning salt all right the ingredients are salt sugar onion garlic spice and a little bit of monosodium gmc whatever you want to call it yes indeed I, i've got it in there now a lot of people don't like that but i'll tell you what you put this in your mouth, you ain't going to take it back out. Uh, then the next thing I put in there, a couple dashes of liquid smoke. Yep, right in the bag. All right. Now, I just gave it a touch of Worcestershire sauce. Just a touch. All right, I'm going to save the Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to keep it out for when I get ready to go throw this all on the grill. And... Uh, I'm also going to use some steak sauce at the same time because it's going to need a little bit of more Worcestershire while it's cooking, but it's also going to need a finishing touch with a little bit of steak sauce on top of those London broils because that's going to be awesome. They're going to cook slow. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these vegetables out of the bag and I'm going to wrap them up in tin foil and put some butter in there with it. Wrap it all up good and you know and seal it and stick it on the top shelf of the grill. And I'm going to put some low heat on the grill. It's going to be very, very low heat with some pecan wood or hickory or whatever kind of wood I can find. Heck, I might try a piece of plywood. Who knows? Anyhow, this is Cooking with a Lunatic. We're going to have a good dinner. Now, I'm going to share the rest of it with you when I get ready to cook. Right now, we're just marinating it. This is a going to be an awesome dinner. It's going to be so good. I can't wait to eat. I'm hungry. Oh, one thing I forgot. The last thing that you want to put in your uh, marinade is a little bit of Ajax dish liquid. Yeah, set that in there. Put, put you about maybe three, four squirts of that and let it set. That way, while you eat, you can clean. It'll be cleaning your teeth at the same time or whatever. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm joking. For all the people that don't really know that I'm joking, don't put the Ajax in there. 
I'm joking about the soap. Forget it. That's what you use to wash your hands when you're done mixing all that crap together. We'll be back on the next clip of this movie as we get it to the grill. Stay tuned. Right here on Lunatic's channel. All right, everybody, it's time to cook. What you'll see here is uh, uh, fresh zucchini cut up. What we got back here in the back, that's fresh squash cut up. There's butter inside of both of those. Okay, and we've got that over low heat on the grill. And uh, we've got hickory up here. This one has the stir fry with all that good stuff in it that I was telling you about earlier. The um, it's got water chestnuts. It's got peas, um, bean or green or green beans. Uh, it's got some broccoli. It has. Uh, it's kind of like a stir fry mix, like a Chinese stir fry mix. There's little tiny pieces of corn and other things in there. Carrots, chopped up carrots. And all of that stuff's got the marinade that I showed you. Over here we got the two chunks of, well actually it's one London broil, but I cut it into two pieces because one's going to be for tonight and the next one will be leftovers for tomorrow. And uh, here's a bag of my marinade that's left over from my vegetables. And as my... Um, London broil cooks very slowly as you'll see I have no heat um, excuse me about the light I have no heat over those all right the only heat that I have is very low over these on this side okay I've, I've scored those with high heat on this side just a minute ago just for the outside and to get a little brown and then I put them over there on that side where there's no heat whatsoever I mean no fire whatsoever just heat so now I need to close this back up and let it cook for a little while while I drink some more of my blue cup and I'll be back just in a little bit to show you what the finished product looks like right here on Lunatic's channel you can do anything with that camera you're right about that what is it broken no check this out y'all here's the finished product would you like to demonstrate for us and tell us what all you got no. hmm what is that steak and everything else let's just get a good zoom in on it uh, the only thing that you don't have in here pretty much is tomatoes which is a doggone because I like tomatoes but I'm happy that there's no mushrooms baked potato right here. yep there's a baked potato and uh, I'm gonna get the camera off of this because my buddy's hungry and he's ready to eat it so uh, uh, yep that's my plate folks and I just made the comment that it is better than beer believe it it's the truth my plate is better than beer